Hello, it's Mr. N again, and in this video we are going to inscribe a circle inside a triangle. So here we are given triangle X, Y, Z, and we are going to put a circle inside of this triangle. So um, what we are looking for here is the in-center. The in-center is the point where the angle bisectors intersect. So the in-center will help us construct this circle inside because we are finding that particular point where I will be equidistant from the sides of the triangle. So now, the first step we're going to do, and I've listed the steps here for you, is we are going to construct the angle bisectors from two of the vertices. And I'll go ahead and use angle uh, vertice X and uh, the vertice at angle Y. So let's go ahead and we will construct this right there. And it doesn't matter what radius you use at this point, but we are going to just keep it the same and move our compass down here as well, rotate it around here, and right here is our first, and we can straight edge this, our first angle bisector. And let's go ahead and connect this. And if you are off with any of these just a little bit, your circle will go outside. It won't be perfect, so just be careful with this. This is a very delicate construction. Okay, so now let's go ahead and construct the second angle bisector. So again, it doesn't matter what radius you use. I'll put it, I'll use this one right here. Um, it'll be the same as the one I had used before. In fact, watch, you can, you can change it. It doesn't really matter. And um, let's go ahead and construct the second angle bisector. So I will do that. And let me change the pen color a little bit so that we can know that this is our second one. And let's move to here. And there's one of the tick marks. Again, if you are not sure how to construct an angle bisector, there is a video on it. You can go ahead and look at that video to help you review on how to construct an angle bisector. And so we've got our second angle bisector. Let's go ahead and straight edge those two points. So um, I am going to connect it from X to there. Now I'm going to extend this out because what I'm looking for is the intersection of those two angle bisectors. So I could draw a third one from <clears throat> the vertice at Z, this angle Z, and it'll intersect in the same spot, but I don't need to. So at this point now, we're almost done with the construction. Now I could eyeball this and come down here and try to find where it's perpendicular here, but instead we're going to do it exact. So instead of eyeballing and trying to do it that way, let's go ahead and construct at this point a perpendicular from this point of intersection which we will label as point A right there to line XY. So to do that I just need to place my pivot point right there and again it doesn't matter on the radius that you use at this point we'll just go ahead and use the one I have shown here. Now again if this is off by just a little bit your construction will be off as well. So just be careful with that and know that this is very precise at this point. So let's make a tick mark here and then continue it on to the other side here. And now from these two points, I'm just going to do the same thing. Again, this is drawing a perpendicular from a point not on a line. And there is a video for this. If you, if you did get stuck at this point as well, you can review that video. So this is how we are constructing a perpendicular from a point not on a line. So let's go ahead and rotate this around to there. There we go. And make our other tick mark. And now we will straight edge this. Again, this is going to be hopefully pretty good. It's all based on how accurate this is, and it looks like I'm pretty accurate with that so far. Now let's just see. This is, this is the test of how good I've made my uh, markings here. Let's go ahead and put the pivot point right there. And we, we can call this point B down here. And I'm going to use the radius from A to B. And let's, right there, there's my intersection point at B. And again, let's see how accurate this is. And we will circum 
inscribe our circle. And I, I was pretty good on this one. You notice that this is pretty close here, pretty close there. So it looks pretty good. So these are the steps. Again, if you need to uh, try this, I would suggest trying it a couple times. This is a tough construction. So hopefully uh, it helped you out and happy constructing.